This is what we're on with today. Bar mix shower going here. Memory boards, multi panel boards, sorry. Across these walls, around the bath. Picking up hat. So yeah, we're gonna come off the hot and cold to the bath. Clip it along here. Take off some of that plasterboard, it's only a stud wall that. And come up 150 pipe centers to suit this Myra Atom bar mixer. It's cast iron bar, so with the age of that, I bet that's three quarter pipe instead of 22. Okay, look at them taps, proper taps. And there are the boards we'll be using. MDF. I'm not convinced MDF is better than marine ply, but it seems to be that's what you get these days. So what I'll do now is unpack this shower because it's got a rain head on it. Get a height for the bar. Level it across and get that wall cut out. So I set it up with the riser rail on for the head. I'm going to cut out this square here and try and drop the pipes down with two elbows on. Cut another section out there so I can get back onto them after. Save hacking away at all this plaster board. Just something to stick the boards to afterwards. Let's get these two cut off. <laughs> Try and not disturb them tap pictures if I can help it, but we'll see. That's that now. I'll drop this tape measure down. It's all the way to the floor, so no nagging, that's it win right there. So like I said, put two elbows on these and drop two straights down. Although it might be easy to, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. Cut our noggin in the bottom of that, uh, access point in the bottom of that and bring these round, across and back in. I had to tip the tap pencils off because there's no movement at all on these two. So hopefully I've got some flexes in the band so there's two new flexes off that. He wants two gate bells on this for some reason. And off and across. Three quarter copper. Need to use a three quarter olive. This is a 22 mil olive. That's a three quarter one. Nice and tight. So that's what I've done here. I had to kick this, kick this round because no, it was too long. To get a tea in. Same on that side. So there's two hot calls. Run down the side of there. There's two bends now, which are gonna go like this. And in here somewhere. Like so. Just so I can get on it a bit better, a bit easier. With a press gun. Identical. Something like that. This needs another batten at the back, really, to support them. That's just holding our centres and our level. Underneath, we have this. So it's clipping in properly, yeah. Up to our bath taps. Get this end finished now. Come straight and getting them level. And there. Uh, Get our boards cut to length and height and size and pipe centres and all that it's rubbish. <laughs> Just wrestling with this uh, board now. So you work these as you get your corner panel. Put that down to length, place it in position. 
and take your measurements from obviously when the board is sat in the corner to what's left. Just need to take a bit out of that top there because it's just catching the ceiling. And she should go back in, which we'll just use uh, some uh, sticks like shit or TT1, any grab adhesive on the back. There's loads of little dabs everywhere. Pat it level. Then move on to side ones, which will make miles easier because there's no pipes in the way, no awkward L cut. But once this is on and stuck, I'll be able to get that shot, that bar mixer and rise red up. for the distance we pipe off the wall. Which these are 25 mil but I have left a bit of play on make sure you see they these holes behind before pushing your back plates on. That's what we look like behind there. A couple of stainless steel 25 mil screws because I'm going to screw it into the board on this but that'll be enough. Looks all right, except this. But I didn't cut it. <laughs> Look at that, that'll seal up. That'll, that'll seal up down there as well. Got a lot left, left to do, but I don't know if I'm doing that or not. Because the customer is cutting his boards. Before you go any further, make sure you've got them level. Tying them two up now. Get our riser rail on. I don't like the idea of having these, but it's got no ring on the end of the riser and it just pushes in there. <laughs> but, show my Renault what they're doing. Turn these on. Don't forget to put these on before putting your, fixing it to the wall, like most of us do. And that is on the wrong place because there's a little lug here stopping it. Must have to go on top. Same way. Oh no, I'll put that on the bottom. Put the hose catch on the bottom. Get that in position. Marked up for that. Winning. That time it just has an o-ring on the end. Pushes drops in there like that. Put our level on that now. Mark up that fixing point. That isn't really the right type of bath. It's a cast iron bath. It isn't really the right type of bath to be putting um, panels on because they've got such it's got such a chamfered edge. There's no flat edge for them to kind of well you don't you wouldn't necessarily sit them on but sit too close to and then beat and then silicone underneath the panel kind of drops behind the the curve of the bath then we're gonna have silicone on top of that so if the silicone fails it'll sit in that little groove against the panel and if it soaks it up <coughs> it'll then blow them so yeah it's not really not really the right bath for that but who am i to say anything all i got told was i was coming fit in a shower here and now i've got to help do the rest of the panel my fucking joiner. Something like that. Always make sure you've got a bead down behind the back of this. This is what I mean about the chamfered edge. Can't see it on the picture really. Get that stuck back now. And a jointing piece here. In line with this crack. Up to them tiles, I think. Whatever you want. So you put silicone on the trim there. This is a joint in the trim. And that it's gonna tap into ah. Pull it off a bit and bottom to get that on. Just tap it on. This one's corking round top now. Ceiling round bottom. And then they're going to put a shower curtain with an angle round instead of a uh, bath screen. Probably won't have sealed very well on top of that anyway. That's me out of here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.